Hey everyone, it's Jess from Stellar Tarot, and today we are doing a book review on Yule by Dorothy Morrison. This is going to be the first in a series of book reviews that goes over these books uh, that cover each of the Sabbaths. Um, I purchased books for seven out of the eight Sabbaths um, a few, a couple months back. Uh, at, from a used bookstore. It was somewhere in between Samhain and um, Yule. Uh, I think it was very shortly after Samhain, actually. Um, and uh, I meant to do a book review on this one, but did not get around to doing it quite yet. So let's do it now. Uh, Yule by Dorothy Morrison is published by Llewellyn, and um, it is, uh, she is, by the way, a Wiccan high priestess uh, from Maryland. So a lot of what she talks about in here is colored by a very Wicca heavy based uh, practice and traditions. There is a lot of useful information in here, however, on Yule and winter solstice celebrations and rituals, traditions, recipes, etc. There is a very extensive table of contents that lists all the different things in here. Um, she also takes quite a bit of time, in my opinion, perhaps a little bit too much time and too many pages to discuss uh, winter holidays and festivals from around the world. And she puts them right up at the beginning of the book too, which um, I disagreed with. I think that discussing um, other festivals other than what the book is focusing on and, and you know, to discuss all those other festivals like Christmas and Kwanzaa and Hanukkah and Saturnalia and all those kinds of things. I think that it would have been nice to touch on them, but maybe towards the back of the book after you've covered what the main focus should be. That, however, is my biggest bone to pick with this book. Other than that, it is pretty well written. It is concise and informative without being an overwhelming amount of information and the chapters are nicely broken up and they're fairly short uh, so that you can kind of flip through it pretty quickly. There is a huge amount of crafts like witchy type crafts and things that you can make either for yourself or as gifts for other people because obviously Yule and Christmas are closely tied together as is the tradition of gift giving. Um, but there's also a very good section of recipes in here as well a lot of which I agree definitely belong in Yule. Some of them I thought might have been better in a, um, like a Lamas or even an Imolg um, kind of a setting, but regardless, it's definitely nice to have some good recipes to pull from. There's uh, desserts, there's main dishes, there's breads, there's drinks, there's desserts. Uh, there's a lot of things like that. And the thing I like nicely, uh, a lot about these recipes too, is that there is um, often in brackets like this crock pot with sale here in brackets underneath it it tells you what tradition or country of origin it is from so there is runja i hope i have not mispronounced that which is polish there is a spanish turkey soup obviously from spain there is a dragon's layer cake which is irish there is a Yule log and a Yule log roll. Both of them are French. There's a British plum pudding. There is a pecan praline, which is Cajun. And so yeah, like you get a good um, kind of smattering of recipes from all over the globe. Um, there's also a lot of good notes on here about ritual ideas, creating personal traditions. There's a whole section on that so that if you are looking more to... Um, do your own thing. Uh, there's some good suggestions about that. There's daily event calendars that go all the way through to the end of December, which I think is fantastic. Obviously with December 21st, which is um, the most used uh, day of the winter solstice. I know it changes every year, obviously, somewhere between the 19th to the 22nd. It almost always ends up landing on the 21st. It's more uh, often. So the Yule celebration is written for the 21st, but I'm sure that if you wanted to, you could kind of switch them around with another day. Um, so yeah, there's clean right through to the end of December and then moves on to um, suggestions on actually keeping these holidays happy and not being overwhelming. Things to do after the holidays, both in regards to how to prevent some waste 
with um, some things like don't toss cranberry popcorn or seed garlands, hang them outside for the birds. I think that's a great idea. Some people really would just chuck them in the garbage. So this is really great for people who are, you know, kind of lacking that forethought of what am I going to do with all this stuff when it's done. Um, there's an idea about uh, getting some of the cards and putting them together in an album to use as a memento. Um, and uh, don't throw away foil icicles and stay gather them into bundles and secure them with twist ties and store them in plastic zippered bags. You can transform them into doorknob tassels or twist them into napkin rings for next year's holiday. So again, there's just some really nice ways to um, kind of reuse some of the things that we end up collecting um, at the end of the holiday season. There's a charge of the sun god. There's uh, an appendix of gods and goddesses associated with the holiday. And then a um, kind of a fun page holiday greetings from other countries in that language. So in Argentina, Feliz Navidad, um, Germany, no, I'm not, I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry. Uh, France, Joyeux Noël. And then you have uh, Spain is also Feliz Navidad. Uh, yeah, I'm awful at pronouncing other languages. Like, just look at Russia. There's no way I could say that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I just think it's kind of neat that you, you know, if you wanted to, to use a seasonal greeting for another person, you could find it really quickly in here. I think it's kind of cute. Um, so yeah, overall, I was pretty happy with this book. Um, a lot of it was rehashing information that I already knew about Yule and Christmas and Hanukkah and all those things, but a lot of it was new information as well. So well, I did think that there was some stuff in here that I didn't think was specifically relevant to Yule and perhaps could have either been left as um, side notes or after notes towards the back of the book. Um, overall, it did give me a lot of great craft and recipe ideas, some things I could do to celebrate Yule with myself or just uh, with my family, things like that. So it's definitely a cute little book. And if you are new to uh witchcraft to Wicca to paganism and you're celebrating the wheel of the year I do think it is um, a cute little book to pick up um, if I was going to give it a rating I would probably say a three out of five again because there's a lot of rehashing and a lot of um, unnecessary and maybe uh, unrelated or unimportant information in regards to an actual pagan Yule festival um, but because there is a lot of useful stuff in there as well, I'm not giving it a negative review or rating either. So three out of five for me on this one. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this and we'll talk to you guys all very soon. Bye.